Hey folks, I see you're back for another episode of Tor uh, Terrapin the Turtle Archaeologist. Uh, last time we left off, we were planning on heading back to uh, <clears throat> to our stash at Sokoban to collect some more stuff. Um, I'm hoping to make some water. What am I doing? Um, I'm hoping to make some, uh, get a bunch of potions of water so that I can um, get some unholy water via Confused Room of Curse scroll. Uh, actually, let's check how many I have right now. And also we can pick up some food since I think we might be running a little low. Yeah, a little bit. Um, since we're doing all this running around, maybe I should be wearing slow digestion. Since I'm not really fighting anything dangerous at the moment. Okay, um. Hmm. Right, uh, so potions. We have some stuff we still have an ID, which maybe we should do now. A bunch of confusion uh, potions, which I can turn into water. These I can dilute into water, although I need to find some water. This can become water, this can become water. Enlightenment, extra healing, gain ability, healing, I want to keep. Invisibility, I want to keep. Monster detection, I like to keep for now. Same with object detection. Might change my mind later. Oil, I'll keep in case I need it for lamps. Paralysis, sleeping, and speed, I will want. Okay, so that's... I have two potions of water plus... Three confusion is five, plus one blindness is six, plus three fruit juices is nine. If I can find a place to make those, uh, or to dilute those. Restorability, that's great. You always want some of those. Levitation and see invisible. Okay, levitation I will keep as well. You can um, use it in alchemy, or I might actually use it for levitation since I have difficulty um, finding sources of flying and levitation as a turtle. Um, hmm. Yeah, so the sea invisible is useless though. Uh, that I can also dilute, I suppose. So, okay, so where can we find water? We can find it in the mines, but that's really high up. Um, or we can go down to Medusa. That's actually closer than the mines at this point. Okay, um, so for now we'll leave all the potions we might dilute here, and we'll go back up, find all the potions we have there, and then um, And then we will... Oh, I forgot to get food. And then we'll dilute the potions we feel are necessary to dilute. Stressed... Yeah, that's not happening. Won't be able to get it over to the altar. Um, but yeah, let me just grab a couple food rations. Yeah. I'm wearing slow digestion now, actually, so I won't bother. Okay. Um, Actually, I'm just going to end it right here. I left a lot, like thousands of gold here um, and plenty of weapons to see if to check for OPROPs, object properties um, in Ludios. So, annotate so I don't forget to do that. And here's Sukkabon. Alrighty. Alright, satiated. I'm happy with that. Mm, let's kill this fellow off. Um, okay, what do we want to bring down? Potions first and foremost. 
and a lot of potions. Um, okay, still have like 100 AUM to spare. Warhammer. Um, bag of tricks. Rings and wands seem good. Um, magical stuff and amulets. Let's go with those. And then what is our limit for burdened? 11.25 times 1.5. 1687. So maybe I'll get a little bit more. Um, what else do I want to take? Some of these things are probably going to be useful at some point. So let's take daggers, arrows, darts, crossbow bolts. Mm, silver flail. Oh. I guess we'll stick with that. Actually, we'll put back these and these. Just so we're comfortably under and we can pick up like a potion or two if we find one. Alright. I'm going to be a little bit more careful going back down since I'm burdened. So just going to check each level with telepathy. Um, of course, there are mindless monsters that are threats, but the ones that could really be game-ending for me right now. Spellcasters, dragons, those will show up on telepathy. Um, what is this? A raven. If it was a vampire bat, I would have ignored it for now, because it could have be, been some form of vampire, and I'd rather not deal with that while burdened. Okay, Earth Elemental. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, yes, the Mithril Lance. Forgotten about that. I'm still shocked that it generated in the dilapidated armory area. Whoa, whoa. Ah. I'm not sure if they actually use their brain eating attack or not. It doesn't seem like it does. Oh, locust. Watch out for sickness. Okay, that's down. We're good. Everything's good. Um, and we get ourselves ooh, a potion of sleeping and presumably holy water as well. Okay, uh, I'll leave them here for now. Monsters don't use them. And I need to get them um, BUC identified anyway at the altar. 
Okay. Okay, so we don't need the amulet versus poison. Um, a lot of stuff. Okay. So I think I'm going to skip over some inventory management and we'll be back after. Alrighty. I think I'm probably missing a couple things, but that's good enough for now. Um, probably I won't be able to get the corpses over in time, but that's worth a shot as well. Yep, corpses are too old. Okay. Um, cool. Alrighty. Let's get this gargoyle after us. Cool. Still at max luck, it seems. Slow digestion is really... I always am surprised by how slow your digestion really becomes. Um, okay, keep the clove of garlic and the wolf's bane because those have situational uses. Don't need spell books, certainly don't need all this holy water in one place. Um, Um, oh, repair armor, lovely. It's a great spell. Um, it will be very useful for us. Okay. Uh, Okay, let's see what potions you want to dilute. Booze has no use, basically. Blindness, don't care. Um, confusion, we should check what this is. Fruit juice, sickness. Can't imagine we'll use it for any offensive purposes, especially as a lawful. Um, I should unname these. That's annoying. Um, and then see invisible. And we're good. All right. Um, eh, what do we not have ID right now? Ring. Ring. I guess this wand. Digging as always. Mm, let's go with the polymorph too. Okay, so what are these potions first and foremost? Gain energy, okay, that's great for alchemy. We, we do not want to dilute those. Um, actually, let's cast ID a few more times. Ring of Invis always has its uses. <laughs> I am so glad I didn't write that ring off. What? Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> Do I have a remove curse spell? I can't remember. Did I? I numbed somehow by accident. I do have the remove curse spell. I'm terrible at it, but that's fine. Um, 
Okay, uh, confusion, fruit juice, sickness, blindness, booze, don't want to gain energy. Um, see invisible, and then the rings, and then the wands, right? Don't need any of those either. Okay, um, and then are there any cursed things you'd really like uncursed? Mm, Gent armor, it's a good candidate, I think. Okay, so we're going to stick on this cursed ring and cast remove curse to get it off. And we're just going to wield this scroll too, because why the hell not? Two for the price of one for cast and remove curse anyway. Um, wow. I don't. This is the first game that's gotten this far where rings of increased damage have been metal and therefore edible. And I also have two extremely highly enchanted rings of increased damage. So that's real lucky. Um, and then of course invisibility is always a nice ring to have. Um, so it's cool that we have that too. Uh, all right, well, I've learned my lesson. Always identify your rings, even if you're pretty sure they're neg negatively enchanted. Um, actually, I don't need to bring all these with me to dilute because I can do some of that here. Alrighty. And then the others I have to bring with. All right. Oops. Yeah. Okay. Um, actually, maybe I should do a premature jewelry eating session. I do have poly control. I'm going to go down blank the potions first while I ruminate on that. Um, so normally I do like one big old jewelry eating session, like towards the end of like after I've explored most of Gehenna and I've polypiled for rings and amulets and stuff. And I just do it the once because it's annoying and I don't like to do it a lot. Um, but I have poly control. I have plenty of sources of polymorph. Why not get plus seven to damage? I actually don't know. I've never had to eat rings of damage before, so I'm not totally certain how the bonuses work. Um, but there seems to me very little reason not to take... Oh, and there's water on this level. Is that notated? Mentioned? No, it's not. Interesting. Well, very slightly closer than Medusa. Um, but yeah, regardless of the exact mechanics, I can't imagine it would be a bad idea, bad thing for me to do. Alrighty. What restable stuff have we this time? Aklis. I find it odd that the Aklis never rusted when I had it with me in the water earlier, but I'm still putting it in, just in case. Speaking of which, I have a steel Aklis somewhere, somewhere. Why am I not wielding that again? Was it cursed? Was it in the stash at Sokoban? Whatever. Um, should have brought that down with me if it was at Sokoban. Not a huge deal. Uh, and then the tinning kit, obviously. And actually, I'm going to take off my greased hat as well. So it stays greased. Not a huge deal, but it's not like I'm being threatened right now, so. Okay, what potions? Fruit juice, fruit juice, sickness. Don't want the holy water to get diluted. Booze, full healing, paralysis should stay as they are, and then see invisible. Great, let's jump on in. Um, and strangely enough, you can dip while you're in the water. Um, 
if you just like hang out for long enough, usually the potions dilute, but um, it's so much faster to just dip. Yeah, you can see two potion. No, no, never mind. Forget I said anything. Uh, it is uh, usually you see a couple messages about things diluting. I'm surprised we haven't seen any. I should really look up what the effects of potions of seeing visible are, because I like never use them, so I'm not sure if there's any like corner cases where they're useful. Like a confused effect or something, that's good. Mind flayer. Oh. Let's get out our grease tome ASAP. Um, and we'll leave the lizard on the floor for now because it burdens us while we take care of this dude. Oh, and let's take out our Atlas in case we need ranged options. Man, I love multi shot. All right, easy as pie. And another potion of water. Interesting. Okay, um, and up we go. So yeah, back to polying. And we're back to eating jewelry. I think I'm going to give that a shot. Um, besides increased damage, I'm not sure if there's any rings I need to eat. I haven't ID'd many other rings that I'd want to eat, which would be protection, which I have ID'd. So yeah, I'll give that a shot, I guess. Although maybe I should wait until after I have more protection from priests. Yeah, I probably should. Um, And then, well, okay, so what metal rings do we know? Um, protection is metal, so I could eat it, but I'm going to hold off probably. Increased accuracy is metal, so I should eat that. Um, increased damage is metal, I should eat that. Constitution doesn't matter, the rest are stone. Okay, well, increased damage and increased accuracy. Aren't I lucky? Alrighty, um, let's start off with the potions, though, just to get that out of the way. We have ourselves seven uncursed potions of water, along with f uh, five blessed ones. Because I can always pray for more holy water, I think I'm going to randomize the BUC of the uh, holy water as well, just to ensure that I get everything I need. Um, to, that I get unholy water for at least one of them. Okay, um, and then let's lock the door because we're dropping everything we have except the water. Well, let's just drop everything actually and then pick up the water. The permanent inventory window looks so empty. Um, and then we just put all these things in their own inventory slots. Alrighty, so there's a pretty good chance that we'll get some unholy water out of this. Um, well, if you read a remove curse scroll while confused, um, it randomly curses and blesses stuff in your inventory. 25% chance of blessing, 25% chance of cursing. I can't remember whether it actually affects stuff that's already blessed or not. I'll have to check on that. One thing I should also consider is whether I want to do this with like amulets and rings as well. Um, and then like remove curse from the ones that ended up cursed. Because then I end up with blessed rings and amulets which make for better poly fodder. I'm literally not using any of these rings ever. 
so I don't care if some of them end up cursed for a long time. Um, what else? Oops. Uh, I'll leave the magic resistance alone for now in case I need it for some bizarre reason. Mm. I'm gonna leave scrolls out of it, I think. Yeah, I'll just stick with stuff I'm not going to use until I consider polypiling. So I don't care if it gets cursed and stays that way. And that way you don't have to waste multiple scrolls. Okay, so let's cast a Forgotten Spell, Confuse Monster. That just stunned us. Oh, we should pick up our Unicorn Horn to deal with that, but then immediately drop it so it doesn't get messed with. Certainly don't want a Cursed Unicorn Horn. Um, Let's try again. We're confused. So we have an amulet of poison. We have a bunch of water. We have rings which we are not using. Okay. Let's read this scroll of remove curse. Great. Um, and then let's immediately put all this stuff. Oh, whoops. We I looted while confused, and that doesn't do anything properly. Um, Let's put all this stuff in our bag so it doesn't screw with, um, oops. Um, it doesn't screw with the like assigned letters of everything in our normal inventory. Pick everything up. No, oh, we didn't pick up our bag because it will burden us, which is fine. Oop, I missed it again. Yes, I would like to pick it up. Okay, there we go. And put on our magic resistance, put on our helmet speed, put on our gauntlets, get our weapons back in order, put on free action and slow digestion. And just check all of our inventory letters are correct and didn't somehow get messed with. They are good. All right. Um, and then let's just pick out anything else that we don't know the BUC status of. And just quickly go off to the altar. Actually, we can do a preliminary check here. Okay, we're good. We have three different kinds of water, so at least one potion of unholy water. Fuck. Uh, that was very good that that was not a beholder. Um, well, it wouldn't have been, because that would have been a warning of number of five. Um, I think I've mentioned this before. You can eat magical eye corpses to affect your luck randomly with a slight average towards the positive. Oop, got some luck, neato. How are we in potion land? All right, I'll take it. Okay, that's too many potions of water. What am I missing? Yeah, there's like 12 potions of water that I didn't have in inventory. Where did those come from? How did I forget them? Were they all the diluted? Did I forget to take out the potions I diluted? I think I did. Well, that's super embarrassing. All's well that ends well. Um, we have a bunch of diluted potions of water that we can bless or curse as needed for later. That's all that really matters. Alrighty. So, what shall we take out? Amulet, kelp. This four lizard corpses is plenty. Um, have a potion of unholy water. Or sorry, keep a potion of holy water. Um, don't need either of the others. And then rings kind of got messed with pretty badly, it seems. Uh, none of them got blessed, unfortunately. That's all good. Seems like it, all of them got cursed, except the ring of gained strength, maybe? Yeah, <laughs> that was unlucky. Um, but we don't care. 
Alrighty. So that was a couple of different item categories, so not easy to pigeonhole that. Um, okay, uh, and potions, invisibility, and, oh, and holy water. And I just need the one potion for the minion right now. Alrighty, um, and let's just go on a quick. Oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna eat some rings. I should do that. Um, and with that in mind, I should ID my accuracies, increase accuracies. So. Um, I know whether I should eat them for a bonus or whether they take away my from my bonus. And I'm actually going to just dump that in. Okay, what do we still need to ID? Mm, I am curious about this magical dagger, maybe. Uh, scrolls, always good to ID. Uh, Southering of increased accuracy. Started off cursed, so it's probably negatively enchanted. But we saw how well that assumption worked out with the increased damage ring. Might as well know how many charges we have in our bag of tricks. Sleep, why not? Okay. Um, yep, the cursed one was negatively enchanted. All is as it should be. And then I guess the scrolls are kind of important. Plus five, that's not bad. Uh, I'd have to exercise caution in using it because it, I'd have to m make sure I used it first in a forging recipe so it wouldn't override whatever object properties I'd be wanting to use instead. But um, I might use it just to grant plus five enchantment to some final product if I do more forging. Well, I'm pretty happy with what I have. <sighs> All right. Oops. How are we doing this? We are doing a quick bit of um, ring eating. So increase damage. Polymorph control. And the chameleon tin. We will use that one. So, take off slow digestion, put on polymorph control. Um, all right, uh, and just check on what's here. Maybe I should not stand on the chest. I don't know if I'd be prompted to eat it or not as a Zorn, but best not worry about that. So I'm gonna polymorph into a Zorn because they can eat even rustproof metal. Um, and also they don't immediately collapse under weight like a rock wall would. Or a, not a rock, a rock wall? Yeah. I think they only eat rustable metal, maybe. I could be wrong. And then there's rust monsters too, but I think they're also decently weak. Anyway, Zorn's a solid choice. They're like a decent polyform. They can't wear body armor, but neither can a turtle, so I don't have to worry about taking that off. Um, I think we should be good. Polymorph control is on. The rings I want to use, the eat are out. Let's do this. Uh, and actually, put this in my bag. I th can't remember if you choke when you try to eat a, a ring of cellar digestion or if you just don't eat it, but not tempting fate there. Um, yeah. So, let's use our handy dandy tin opener to eat some chameleon meat. Why 
Well, okay. I increased my level by two. And I lost a point in charisma and dexterity. Um, so we got hit by the old, you feel like a new foo. Um, there's a 20% chance every time you try to polymorph that you will instead turn into a new version of whatever race you started as. So in my case, a turtle. And your experience level and your attributes get messed with a little. Um, in this case, largely in my favor. Lost a point in two points in attributes I don't really care about, slash can easily exercise, and I gain two levels. So I'm quite happy with that. Um, let's hope this time we get what we want, especially because I don't have that many tins. I can also use my wands, I guess, but I'd rather save this for polyviling. Okay, polymorph control is still on. Open the doppelganger meat, let's say. Eat it. I'd like to become Zorn, please. <laughs> okay, I just gained another experience level. And I gained some charisma back, and I lost a little bit of dexterity. Well, I'm having all of the luck with becoming a new turtle. Um, 1 in 25 chance that I get the you feel like a new turtle twice in a row. And then a further... I don't know the exact chance, but it's like 50-50 the way things go roughly, so times like a quarter for increasing my experience level both times. That's pretty unlike, that, that's a one in a hundred shot. <laughs> um, I'm going to use my wand of polymorph. Oh, this one's not ID, interesting. I'm going to switch that out then. I prefer to carry around ID ID wands for obvious reasons. Um, I'd like to keep one tin available because I can carry that in open inventory and polymorph when needed, if needed. Um, so let's zap the wand of polymorph at herself and become a Zorn, please, finally, okay. Now, we have to be very careful that we don't eat things that we actually want. Let's eat the Ring of Increased Accuracy. Magic spreads through your body, so we got plus one accuracy bonus. Solid. Let's eat the Ring of Increased Damage. We did not get the bonus. Oh well. Eat this other Ring of Increased Damage. Magic spreads through your body. Score. So now we have a plus three bonus to damage and a plus one bonus to accuracy without having to wear extra rings. Very happy with that. Um, I think it's only a one and third chance that you get the uh, bonus. So um, I think it's definitely worth it because I have other rings I want to be wearing. But to some extent, it was lucky that we got the bonuses we did. Um, and then put back the polymorph wand. Um, and then just go through our inventory, checking what we have. Um, I think I want to bring all this stuff to the quest. So... Yeah, looks about right. Um, oh yeah, and I can phase through walls, neato. Ooh, another lizard. I just, I guess I'll bring it over to the altar and drop it there. Woo, phasing through boulders. Phasing is so fun. Shit, nymph. Um, I guess we should tin this nymph corpse. Oh, don't need another mirror though. Eh, what the hell, I'll bring it with me. You never know when you might want to reduce your luck a little bit. Um, 
if you like break a mirror by throwing it at a wall or whatever, then um, you lose two points of luck. So that can be helpful for avoiding crowning and such. Alrighty. Um, finally, off to the quests. I don't. Rem I don't think you get a warning actually when you're polymorphing back into normal form. So I probably shouldn't be phasing too much. I can't remember exactly how phasing works. Oh, this is annoying. I can't search by like going up because that brings puts me in the wall since I can travel there. Like the go command travels as far as you can in that direction, which in my case is pretty darn far, depending on exactly where the room is in the level. Anyway. Um. Oh, there we are. We found the portal. So I gotta be careful when wielding stuff because it's right next to eat the E key. Um, and oh, shooting my spears again instead of using my Atlas. What a pain. Oh yeah, I can't. Um, so you can only use two weapons when you're in a polyform if you have two weapon attacks. Um, like your monster form is defined as having two weapon attacks, which is decently rare. Um, I know Balrogs have two weapon attacks. Um, And I know, uh, yeah, actually, that's the only one I'm certain of off the top of my head. Um, <laughs> shit, this is why I gotta be careful. There goes a mithril spear. I'm glad I found it tasty. Ugh. Um, maybe I should have just killed myself to get back in normal form again. But I'd have had to like use magic missile or something to do that quickly, and I was lazy and didn't feel like it. Um, oh well. Another lamp. Never have too many of those. Helmets are less important for me to carry around, I feel like. Um, they don't have as many awesome properties as like boots and cloaks do. So like if you end up with a humanoid pet, boots of speed, cloak of magic resistance, gloves of protection, gauntlets of power, all those sorts of things give a real boost to your pet. With Helms, it's like, you can give them telepathy. Speed is awesome, but I know what speed looks like, and this is not speed. The options are kind of lackluster, is my point. Um, all right, what am I dropping? I am dropping uncursed things, or unknown things. Are those really the only things I picked up? Oh, I'm almost burdened because... Uh, where'd the flail go? Did I eat it somehow? Or did... Oh, I already dropped it. That's it. Oh, and I should pick up these. I don't want enemies picking those up. Okay, um, so the reason I'm close to burdened is just 
I'm absorbing my carry cap slower at the moment. I'm not actually certain what happened. Oh, and my experience level's way up, so I should do something with that. Namely, cut my attack skills to basic and divination to skilled. That's all I really care about. Alrighty. Let's do this thing. Oh. I can't fly, can I? So yeah, this is a very, very minor bug. When you're phasing, you're not, you can't fly. Um, but as soon as I step into the water, I will be flying. So technically the paranoid swim shouldn't ask me. Um, oh, glad I went over to get that potion. And then just what other loot is there around here that I might have missed? Apron, I already have one of those, don't need another. Okay. Oops. Huh. Yeah, I can't push the boulder. Oh well. Is the downstairs over here? Yes. Alrighty. Oh, I should check out that chest too if I can. Oh, there's a throne here. Fascinating. Mm. Let's check out this interesting... Well, I don't know its BUC status, but I can check downstairs because there's an altar there. This other stuff I don't need to bring with me, but I would like to bring the spell book in case I can learn a good spell. Um, but I'll just make a little mini stash here for now. I don't know if there's any odd effects from sitting in a throne while polymorph, so I just won't. Um, wield G. Oh, I am. Everything wielded is good. Okay. Ooh, what is this? Pit Viper. Sure, let's just let it kill us. I'm tired of being a Zorn. Oh wow, it's really terrible at killing us. Alright. I'm sure the mummy would be fine too. It can take max hit points, but... Probably just from my polyform, so it doesn't matter. Actually, I'm not certain about that, though. Wow. <laughs> wow. This is just not working. Cobalt Mummy, I'm fine with letting that attack me. Can't drain max hit points. Apparently, it can't hit me either. Lame. I'm just too strong. <laughs> this is really funny. I might help them out with a magic missile if they can't do the job. I believe in you folks. Even that wasn't quite enough, probably because of my magic resistance. And I missed. There we go. Alrighty. Else is on the level, just more sneaks and probably mummies too. 
the ring of protection. Just all the jewelry to eat. Archaeologist quest is nice because you have all sorts of snakes and they need items to hide under. So I think you probably got more, a few more items than you normally would. Don't quote me on that. Plus, of course, the all the altars, big, big bonus. Um, I don't want to get hobbled by a spear trap. Um, of course, the mummies are way worse than vanilla, so that kind of sucks. Level two, what could that be? Could be kid blindness, maybe? Jumping? A sphere spell? Drain life? That would be awesome. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I think the next level has the altars, and then our curiosity can be satisfied. Holly trap. Yay. Another smoky potion. Gotta love it. Destroyer armor is almost useless to us because we have almost no armor. <laughs> Archaeologist quest. The only place where you can find that particular fu uh, funny message with any certainty. Um, in case you didn't see it in the message window. Pit Viper falls into a pit. How pitiful. Isn't that the pits? Arguably a little tryhard, but on the whole I'd say it's amusing. thing to see. And already I'm regaining my dexterity because it's so low I can't help but increase it. Dexterity is super easy to exercise because you just gotta hit something. I'm very good at that. Oh, shield of free action. Um, actually, yeah, I don't need it. I have multiple rings of free action. Don't really want to use spears, uh, shields. So currently, monsters cannot make use of it either. So that's not a consideration. Next version, they will. Beware! Potions of paralysis are no longer the be-all end-all. Um, I think K2 was nice enough not to have any monsters guaranteed to generate with things of free action or shield, slippery shields, but not certain. And if, like, Lucifer randomly got one, well, that would suck. I don't know if unique monsters can randomly get stuff. Like, there's certain things that they're guaranteed to get, but I not, don't know if they could get something that they're not guaranteed to get. I feel like probably they could. Another oil lamp. Oh, silver darts, nice. You can never have too much silver. And let's dump some more stuff here. 
Accept the spellbooks. Accept, accept the plain spellbook because that's not actually a spell. Just a blank book. Actually, what do we not have ID'd? Shiny ring ring protection while I'm digging. And let's take out our other unID'd ones. Let's check out this ring first. Sustainability could be useful. Minus negative ring of protection, not useful. Um, cold, yeah, I'd like to know that. Invisible, sure. Not very many charges, good to know. Okay, uh, drop that, drop that, and we'll take the ring of sustainability with us. You never know when you might need one. Um, arguably, once I get my dexterity back to 10, it's not a bad idea to just use that as my default ring. Mm, I guess invisibility and polymorph control both have more tangible benefits. But I don't have the restorability uh, spell right now, and with all my attributes at or near the maximum, the only way for them to change is for the worse. So sustainability wouldn't be a terrible idea. That would be kind of bad. Alrighty, here we are. Rolling Boulder, how very, how very Indiana Jones. Oh, and there's another one. Fascinating. There's our loss lock altar. Handy. Very slightly closer than it otherwise would be. Ooh, and seven candles. It's nice. Conical hat. Don't care about that. Did not mean to rhyme. I apologize profusely. Wait, I thought I was burdened. Am I not burdened? Huh. I didn't screw something up really badly, did I? It's usually what happens when you have weight, carrying way less weight than you thought. No, I think I might have just been mistaken about being burdened. Yeah, because when I dropped the sack, I didn't say anything about being unburdened. I think we're good. <sighs> um. See if we can't get ourselves a few sacrifices. Might as well create a monster or two since my um, power is at its max. And I don't want those. These could be useful. Or if it's all the monks are good, it's made of wood. No, that doesn't matter. Either way, it's cursed. It's a bad, bad sword, so. I'll just jump those in the corner of things we might want, but not now. See how we're doing for sacrifice. Okay. We are still sacrificing things, it appears. Um, Spellbook of Identify. Nice. Oh, that reminds me. What of our other spell books? Both uncursed. Okay. Cure sickness, singularly useless. Well, that's not entirely true. Um, there are slightly more causes of sickness in Evil Hack, so it spells a bit better. Plus, it's directional, so you can cure pets. That's where it really shines. Oh yeah, there's no secret door there, I forgot. It feels like there should be a secret door there, but there's not. Let's 
So much loot. I can see why so many people went tomb raiding in the past. As morally sketchy slash outright horrible as that is. Um, these gloves are made of metal because they're heavy, so they're either gauntlets, or plain gauntlets, or gauntlets of power. Can't wear them. We'll keep them around. Is that? Oh, it's a door. Right, there's a double door there. Thought I had yet another spellbook for a second. Race for the altar. Well, I got there in time. Got a lot of good that did me. Um, don't need these darts. Don't need these gloves. Don't need these spell books. Or candles. Copper Shield Reflection, that's actually a decent find. Because um, there's a lot of silver haters that are decently intelligent and might want to wear a shield. And they can't wear a normal Shield of Reflection because it's silver. So, Spare Magic Whistle, we'll take it. I should probably switch to a better ring than slow digestion since I have plenty of corpses to eat. What have we got? Let's go invisibility. No secret door there, it seems. Ooh, a new amulet. Cursed amulet of change. Well, okay. And my wand of magic missile is apparently rust proof. Fascinating. Here's a fun silver amulet fact. I'd argue they're actually... Everyone complains about gold amulets because leprechauns can steal them from you. You have in fact experienced that ourselves this run. I would argue silver amulets are worse. Because if you get lycanthropy, they immediately fall off of you. Um, my last turtle archaeologist run, I was... And I guess silver rings have the same problem. Um, I, uh, there's something I should cast just to keep my memory high. Let's go with extra healing. Um, casting spells increases your memory timeout for them. So if I'm at full power, I might as well cast something a couple times. Give me that much longer. Um, Seems like this is the whole level, a little bit lopsided. But anyway, so if you're like wearing a silver amulet of flying and you get lycanthropy and you're like over open air, you die. I was had a not not that bad situation, but still annoying. Um, in my last long turtle run, uh, I was in Vlad's cavern, so 
Um, Vlad's tower is pretty well revamped in uh, in Evil Hack. Um, it starts out with this underground cave that's largely open air that you have to fly or levitate over. And it's just absolutely swarming with vampires. Um, and there's also a couple were demons around. So I was wielding a silver javelin in my offhand because of frost, highly enchanted, very proud of it. Um, and I decided that I'd go melee the were demon because I'd probably kill it in like a hit. It took me two hits. And in that intervening hit, um, it gave me lycanthropy and I dropped my silver spear into the open ear, into the open air, so it vanished never to be seen again. Which was pretty sad. Luckily I was not like wearing a silver le levitation ring or something, so I didn't immediately die. But I could've. Which would have been bad. All this is to say don't trust silver amulets. In some ways it seems like they're a good thing, because like silver haters hate them and you're not usually a silver hater, so it feels like that should be a bonus. It's not really. Um, the only time the silver really matters is if Grass steals it from you, which is unlikely. And if he does, then you're screwed anyway. Um, or if you turn into a lycanthrope, in which case it's a con, not a pro. Um, want to keep my scare monster scroll. Do not want to drop another of those. Hello, kitty. Um, so, making another little knee stash. Getting a lot of loot. Alright. Okay. Much prefer the three to be uh, anaconda or whatever it is, rather than another giant mummy because those are pains. Ice box. What have we here? A nurse corpse. My goodness. Hi, kitty. Anyway, um. Yeah, I'm taking that out and tinning it. Neato. Not how I expected to get a nurse corpse, but I'll take it. Much more civilized in the old-fashioned way of slaughtering them in the middle of a dungeon. And my cat seems quite um, eager to join in with some input on the keyboard. Let's hope she doesn't. Another ring, nice. Of hunger, okay, not nice. Okay, so I is this this might be the last filler level? I think it is. Before the minion's lair. I don't know what it's really called, if it has an official name or not. Um Looks like we're missing a room in the middle of the dungeon here. Let's see what's in there. Another giant anaconda. They can swallow you, but I bring a slow digestion that I can always take out and put on if... Oh, frick! Frick, 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 frick! Of course I'm right next to him. Oh, please don't be awake. Of 
course. Oh, this is just typical, isn't it? <laughs> I'm trapped behind the minion of... What's his name? Lele Toat, I think. Anyway, um, let's look him up. Speed 12, not ideal, but okay. High MR, so that's useless. Um, uh, has just really high attacks, including an arcane spellcasting attack. So that's cursing items. Um, you know, fireballs and stuff. <sighs> I think... Can you see invisible? I missed that. Yes, he can. So, what's a better ring to have on? I actually don't have anything super better. I guess polymorph control, in case I, there's an emergency and I want to polymorph into something else. Um, And, and, right, I'm going to go Potion of Paralysis on him. Hopefully I can get next to him without waking him up. Oh, the door is unlocked. Okay. All right, that was extremely anticlimactic. That silver trident was putting in work. Um, so this is our quest artifact. Uh, this is a random potion, and this is the bell of opening. Already, very exciting. Um, I'm gonna switch out. Will I? I think I will. I'm gonna switch out uh, quest artifact, which I will largely refer to as the quest artifact, so I don't have to spend time trying to pronounce it. Um, for the Silver Trident of Frost, because most of the stuff here is not resistant to fire. Um, and it does a lot of fire damage. I think 1d24. Um, so, plus the uh, Atlat is uh, a decent, um, although poorly named, base weapon. Um, so, and technically, this is like, you know this? Um, so yeah, it's, it's like the same as a longsword. So that's pretty competitive with a trident. Um, so I don't know if you've ever seen like those things people have when they're like throwing tennis balls for their dogs, and it's like a plastic arm thing so they can throw it further. That's basically what an atlat is, um, except for spears. But in Evil Hack, it is the spear itself except better than a normal spear. Um, anyway, all that, all that is to say it's a better weapon than my silver trident until I'm facing demons, which will be pretty soon, actually. Um, what else does um, Shukot do? It... I can't remember how much is in the description, but... Um, Okay, there isn't really much of a description. Uh, some of them have actual mentions of their properties, like I know the PYEC does. So like it tells you ESP, spell, half spell damage, etc. Anyway, from memory I believe Shukot does... Shukot? Anyway, um, it does... Uh, oops. Stepped in a bear trap. Um, it does 1d24 fire damage, which is super useful until you're in Gehenna and then it becomes totally useless. Um, it converts resistance to fire, which is pretty much totally useless by the time you get it, um, usually. Technically, I'm not fully resistant to fire, so it is giving me a little bit of help, I guess. 
reluctantly, I must admit that. Um, it's, you can invoke it for levitation, um, which is decently useful, especially as a turtle, because I much prefer flying amulets for traversing areas, but that's not really a good option for most turtles, so levitation and on demand is pretty nice. Um, and uh, what else? Um, it converts, conveys ESP on carry, which is why I'm seeing all these snakes, and has spell damage on carry as well, which is a very solid um, property. Um, largely because it reduces the uh, magic missile attacks, which is important um, even after you have magic resistance, because magic resistance doesn't negate it in ELAC. Um, you'll So like if a magic missile hits me, you'll see a message about some of them bouncing off. So MR halves the damage, um, but that can still be pretty significant damage if you're fighting like an angel or something. Health, but half spell damage will reduce it further. Um, also helps against like acid blast, which is often something you're vulnerable to even in the late game because acid resistance is hard to come by. And then of course it protects your items from cancellation. Um, they're less likely to get cancelled if you have half spell damage, which is great. Um, it also can be, I think I've mentioned this before, it can be thrown and will return to you like Mjolnir. It's basically Mjolnir but a sphere and all about fire instead of electricity in terms of its you know, normal weapon damage properties. Um, plus the extras like half spell damage and stuff as fits a quest artifact rather than just any old first artifact gift. Uh, oops, I stepped in the bear trap again. Um, oh, and I'm back at 10 dexterity, didn't even notice. But yeah, as easy as expected. Anyway, um, it will only, just like Mjolnir, it has a stat, a stat requirement. In the case of this, it's a dexterity requirement because that's like archaeologist's whole thing. Um, and uh, you have to have at least 18 dexterity if you're an archaeologist to throw it and have it return. You can't even throw it and not have it return if you don't have an extra dexterity. Um, so just tried to throw it, didn't work, as you can see. Alrighty, uh, that's the level, except I've just realized I've missed a few things. Um, specifically, there's still a secret compartment in here. All right, and I had a wand. Glad I checked. With cancellation. All right. Um, I am, I guess, somewhat. Yeah, let's see. Better attack. One distressing thing is that uh, Shukach is not fireproof, um, which means you can like incinerate it, get it burnt, etc. Which might not be what you expect, given that it's all about fire. Um, if you complete your success, if you complete your quest successfully, then your quest leader fireproofs it, and so it basically doesn't matter, since there's no real way of removing fireproofing from weapons that I can think of anyway. Um, but it's something to keep an eye out for. I believe in the next version. Um, it will be just naturally resistant to fire. Because that's the case for most like fire-related things, like Scrolls of Fire, Spellbook of Fireball, they're fireproof. So I think the same can be said for, or will be able to be said for Shu Kut Kwat. Um, that's cool, I guess. Uh, 
as I said, it's mostly moot. Did I miss a stash? I think I missed a stash. Or maybe it was the level above. No, I don't think I missed a stash. Pick this one up, so we're good there. And we can check the UC here, handy. Oops, it's quicker. Just stick this in the bag for simplicity. Um, Raid Silver Bell. Uncursed. Um, and a sacrifice in hopes of good luck while talking to our quest leader. Because we do have that one point of alignment piece, abuse, which means there's a very, very small chance that our quest leader will get pissed at us and demand I return the artifact. Which, I don't know, I might just do, frankly. I don't know, because half spell damage is good. Shoot, I am stressed now. But you can also get it from Angel Slayer, which is a really solid artifact trident that if I get via sacrifice, I will almost certainly use in at least parts of the end game. So, uh, we'll see. Actually, I'm not sure if she got, um, definitely. Um, I'm not sure if it's half spell damage is only on wield. I should check that out. Because if it is, then, if it isn't, then it's much better than Angel Slayer, because that's only half spell damage on wield. Okay, um... I'm just dropping so much stuff here, but not the Scroll of Scare Monster. Well, what else can I drop other than this? Other than the stuff in the bag. Um, Silver Trident. Fashion. Ring of protection. Okay. Um, oh, amnesia. I didn't notice we had that before. Good to know. Can use that to reset my skills if I feel so moved. Do this. Actually, that's okay. Probably deserved for my rudeness there. Well done, Terrapin. You defeated the minion of Wewetwatch, covered Chief Gotch and lifted the curse, and what we have lifted the curse on the silver bell. Please take the quest artifact with you. Uh, that was almost certainly going to happen, but I'm glad it's going to happen. I'm glad to find out for certain nonetheless. Um, and the whole bit about lifting the curse from the silver bell, if you can complete the quest successfully and your quest leader is happy with you, um, they'll bless the bell, which is a nice perk. Um, not super needed, but yeah, nice. 
Uh, I think we may end the video here. Um, and next time, go back to the drudgery of hauling random crap around the dungeon. Uh, possibly I'll just even leave said random crap here, go down to the Ice Queen's realm, kill Catherine, hopefully easily, we'll see, and uh, then return with a bag of Hesperides. Of the Hesperides, I suppose. I'm carrying the Wand of Cancellation, which is good. Um, so if I do come back with a bag of the Hesperides, I don't have to worry about it blowing up from this Cancellation Wand. Um, I'm going to dump this in my stash ASAP. So I will see you all next time. Let's get excited for some loot hauling. Woo.